is Joe Farrell at center. He's a junior, number 42, six foot three, Dan Siegel. But he put the whammy on the team. The Chargers meeting Saucon Valley in Class AA, and right to work, they get it to the big fella, Danny Siegel, and he scores with the early slam. But Carmadale has a lot of weapons. Chris Daly gets it over to Siegel for another slam. It's a six-point lead, and then in the second half, Daly to Siegel on the alley-oop slam. It's a 69-36 blowout win as we go. And hang with them and get their fair share. Danny Siegel outside, puts it on the floor, pulls up and hits the jump. Oh, that's a nice-looking shot. Danny Siegel, 16 points per ball game. 16. Emotion's going to have to carry him over the top this afternoon, too. That can do nothing but help him. Good pass. Siegel, baseline. Got it. Good look by Skarupa. He is so smooth. We are tied again at 18. Got to move the ball. Siegel all alone goes up. A foul. You have to challenge the big man. Boy, Mark. Mark looked like he was going in for the dunk that time. Watch it again. You have to challenge their big man. And Siegel is doing that in this first quarter. Dan Siegel, rather. But thought he had it clean. Siegel will go to the line for two, trying to untie this thing. He did have a lot of the ball. No, these guys aren't twins either, Mark and Dan, and uh, easily confused. They look alike. Such a nice touch for a big guy, John. Glenn Moskowski looking on with his assistant coaches on the bench. The second by Danny Siegel. Chargers back up by two. It's 14 in the fourth quarter. Connor, three, no good. Siegel for the rebound. Oh. Chargers back up by a point, 25-24. That'll put a charge into you. What a great move by Siegel. Took the baseline away and grabbed the rebound. That's a fourth shot. Everyone. Welcome back, everyone. This is what happens when you don't box out. Ryan Dennis does not get a body on Siegel. Great move by Siegel. Gets around him. And Danny puts it down with authority. Danny Siegel with eight first quarter points. They trail by one. Pitts for three. Short. Rebound Skarupa. Daly's open. Pushes it up. He adds Daly. Hesitates. Wild shot. Siegel steals it. Oh! Bucket and foul. They came to play. Danny Siegel with ten points in this opening half. He leads this team in rebounds. He leads this team in block shots. The only thing he doesn't lead him in is scoring, and he's only one point behind the leader. Carbondale making a statement early on here that they're not intimidated, and they're going to take the ball to this team. A phenomenal effort so far. Danny Siegel misses. Up here, rolling to the baseline. Gets away from the block out and puts it down. Beautiful heads-up play. He was watching the ball. The rebound. Skarupa quickly up court. Connor inside. Nice pass by the Seagulls. No foul. We are tied at 44. Good job breaking the press. Connor to the hole. We have a foul. Again, you have to challenge the big guy. Low underneath the basket, away from the ball. Daly for three. Connor the tap. Ball is loose. Siegel the rebound. Stroh to the hole. Man! Tied again at 48. I tell you what. Point guard, but Daly's the better man so far. There's a few games going on here this oh, afternoon. Siegel are. to the hole. Misses it. Oh! No, they waved it off again. Foul again on the Tigers, but they wave off the bucket. That's unbelievable. There's no way that's not a three-point play. That's, that's a terrible call, John, and I'm going to say it right here, right now. We can see it again at some point, guys. Oh, that's horrendous. He's up in the air. It's a foul, baby. Oh, oh, here's oh. the follow. This is there. He's up in the air. That's he right. He's taking the shot. He is in the act of shot, though. Carbondale's got the momentum. They have the Tigers frustrated. Big bucket right here. We'll put him over the top and give him a lead. We are at four minutes. Danny Siegel, one-on-one. -on -one. Has Dennis in the air. Oh, got it. Dan Siegel is a big time player. There's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with this, John. 
not making those shots or not counting those baskets is okay because the key is they're getting George Jr. in foul trouble big time. Chargers up by one, 51-50. Siegel now at 22. This second is team six. Makes both. We have a timeout on the floor. Carbondale is leading George Jr. Republic 52 50. We'll be right back. Quarter team. They came back from a one point deficit with four minutes to go in their last game to win by like 16. Danny Siegel with a step. Chargers back up by two. Get it to your money, man. Oh, man. 10 seconds. We are tied at 63. If you want drama, we have it. Daly on Reeves. Connor to the hole. Pulls up. Short. Rebound loose. Scarupa throws it up under. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Hershey Park Arena, where you have just seen one of the greatest high school basketball games, I tell you, of all time. Carbondale SAA state champions. They already had the t-shirts made up. The awards ceremony is going on right now on the court, and in just a few minutes, we will have some interviews with some of the Chargers, their head coach, Glenn Muskowski. Let's look at the putting in that winning bucket. He ends up with six, and I'll tell you what, some irony there. Chris Daly, what a ball game he had. Danny Siegel, number 45, and his brother Mark, what a game they played. This is something that will live with these kids forever. It's a game played with emotion. And Carbondale played with emotion here this afternoon. They were just... There you see the medals. That'll go around these Chargers next. His assistants, Joe Farrell and Pat Price. 2,000 plus made the ride from Carbondale today to see this game. And they won't see anything better. Staff. Mark Siegel. He played his final game at Carbondale. Chris Daly, number 13. Danny Siegel, 27 points in this championship ball game. And now the awarding of the state championship trophy. There you see the starting five out there. Dr. Russell Werner awards it. And there it is. It's official now. Won't that be a sweet ride? Back to Carbondale. Carbondale area high school Chargers. 42, Danny Siegel, 27 points this afternoon. Terry Gern, take it away. 27 points, a phenomenal effort here this afternoon. You weren't intimidated at all by these big guys, were you? Uh, no, I played with bigger guys than this during the summer with the pace setters. So I was pretty much ready for them, more or less. We were all pumped up. None of us were scared. Great defensive scheme you guys had this afternoon. What were you coming in trying to prove on defense? Uh, to stop, their big guys were really well, and they like to pass in the big guys, so we tried to sag down on the big guys and pressure the guards so they can't throw the lob. But we did our best to do that, and they did really well doing that. Your brother helped you out a little bit today, too, on the weak side. Oh, huh? uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, he's, he's a great defensive player, and I know him awesome. 
You guys were the big underdogs. You weren't supposed to do this. Yeah, we were supposed to lose by 15. <laughs> we all had that in our mind. We were going to lose by 15. Uh, no. Did you like coming in being the underdog? Yes, once? definitely. Like less, less pressure. We just wanted to prove a point, and we did. How How's it feel? You're the Class 2A champ. Oh, it's great. Thank you. Really good. Great job, Dan. Thanks. Appreciate it. And uh, right now, they're cutting down the nets as, the net, uh, as Glenn Muskoski is coming over with his championship. He says, hey, it's got a rebounding comes from here. So they had to go after it, and they did. Uh, you were the big dog. You weren't supposed to win this one. No one told you that. Oh, these kids don't care. <laughs> 15 points. They had us pick 15-point underdogs. That's okay.